to speak that that to me, to speak to me that way. You're the first person to speak life into me because I don't the candy coat it. I told that young man today, I said, you are 21 years old. At some point, you have to turn it around. You have to decide how you want to live your life. And, and I believe he can do it. I believe in everybody's ability to turn it around. But we got to work hard, y'all. We, we can't can't take the foot off the gas. So the bigger picture, my bigger message is um, right now when I was listening to Ricky Smiley, I could agree with him. You know, there are places that I don't take my children. I have a eight year old and a, and a 12 year old. Right. And here's the deal. I grew up in the hood, so I'm used to certain things. If I'm somewhere and a fight breaks out, other than being Judge Dawson, I'm cool with it because I'm not involved in it. I know how to move around it. I know how to get safe, hopefully, as long as there's no random gun shooting, right? I'm, but I would never want my child to experience that. And the kids who are shooting and fighting are the kids that somehow miss the message of respect for themselves and for others. When I was in high school and we got into fights, when the adults came around, we broke it up, we ran. Nowadays, because these kids figure, I don't owe you no respect, you don't, I, you gotta earn my respect. They don't even run from us. Matter of fact, I've, I've pulled over as judge in East Cleveland trying to break up fights verbally. They're looking at me like, we don't give a fuck who you are. Because they don't. Because somewhere along the line, somebody told them that they don't have to give respect to authority and they don't have to respect adults. So they, they, they just disrespected me. Here I am trying to break up a fight, trying to keep you from being arrested. Here I am trying to keep you from having to come to my court. But they didn't even feel they had to respect the judge. So I don't know. I mean, maybe that works with some kids where you can res you respect them so they respect you. But I'm going to tell you what, my kids, the ones I'm raising, they better respect me as, a, as their parent first. I'm going to love them, but respect? Am I going to get, you know, what I mean? I'm not going to hurt my kids. I'm not going to, but do I respect my eight-year-old and my twin? No, you respect me. You do what I say. My mama used to say, you do what I say, not as I do. Now, I know that's not the good way to do it, but that, that makes sense, right? Like, you mean to tell me that you, you believe you have to respect your child before your child has to respect you, the child you brought in this world? I don't know. It's interesting, y'all. And I know, I, I knew when I started down this, this line that it wasn't going to be the easiest conversation. But I will tell you this. I think everyone has a valid opinion. I do not. I don't know everything. You know what I mean? I don't have, you know, the corner market on everything that how, how to raise a child. But I do know I have two um, children that I'm raising with my wife. Um, I do know that my mother raised me as a single mother in East Cleveland, which is a, a very tough neighborhood to raise a child. Matter of fact, she raised two of us. Um, I do know that I made mistakes. My mistakes were so severe that had I got caught making any of the mistakes I made, I would have been in jail. Right. But I was able to overcome that. So I don't I don't I don't make any excuses. Lisa, what's up? Let me see. Lisa, sadly, some of these parents don't respect themselves, letting on their kids. Yeah, that's true. That that's I, that's true. You can see how some of these parents move and the kids see that. Like if you as a parent don't even respect yourself, you think the kids don't see that. They see that. And then they know how to act. Lisa, another another one. I g raised an a impressive young man. I haven't even met him, but by what I see through her, Lisa, you've done a great job. And you know you have, right? And I'm sure you from, you from East Cleveland too. You know how it is. So you knew exactly how you needed to raise your boy. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 takes, it takes a certain type of energy and dedication to raise young men and women so that they are productive in spite of everything that's going on, because it is rough out here. So, I don't know, y'all. All I know is, like I told that man today, um, <laughs> it's true, though. You know you did a good job. Like I told that young man today, 
and I don't know if he, I think he believed me. It 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 breaks my heart. I've been doing this for a long time, but it breaks my heart. It's like, you know why it breaks my heart? Because I don't know what else I can do. I've tried. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna continue to try. I mean, I've written books, workbooks. I go to all the school. I can't go to. I'm. A, I can't be in every school all day long, but I try. And I can't get to everybody, but I try. You know, I put up those YouTube videos free. <laughs> you know, hoping people, hoping somebody will have their kid watch them to get something from the judge. I mean, all I can do is what I can do, but it breaks my heart to see people standing in front of me in handcuffs when they could have made a different choice. 